The CAT-D6 combines the world's foremost earth-moving technologies in one package and is about to change the bulldozer market. But first, it has to prove it's the real deal. Rigorous controlled testing at the Caterpillar Proving Grounds in Peoria, Illinois has shown the tractor can perform as its designed engineers imagined. Now it takes on the truest test of its quality, the everyday work of CAT customers. Join us on the final leg of the D6's journey and see how this newly designed machine pushes through the frozen swamps of northern Canada on the road of innovation. Part 3, a completely different machine. Employees from all over Caterpillar have been pushing themselves to the limit to bring their version for the D6 to life. One of those employees is senior test engineer Michael Hockney. After years of shepherding this D6 prototype through design iterations and initial testing, Michael is with the machine at Toramont Cat in Timmins, Ontario, on the doorstep of the D6's final challenge, a De Beers diamond mine with its own unique working conditions. But before Michael can begin testing the D6 in the diamond mine, he faces the challenge of just getting it there. The tractor will travel by trailer north from Timmins to Cochrane, Ontario, where it will be loaded onto a rail car and taken to Moosonee and offloaded. Finally, the D6 must travel the mine's winter ice road, active for only six weeks a year, when the soggy tundra is cold enough to freeze at a thickness that can handle an 18-wheeler transporting a bulldozer. The ice road is only open four to six weeks a year, so you gotta make sure you have all your ducks in a row and be ready to jump when they say it's open. Not like you can say you need two more weeks because usually you're gonna miss your window. As the D6 travels via ice road, Michael travels to Victor Mine by plane, getting his first look at the extreme conditions the D6 will encounter in this harsh mining environment. We are surrounded by water and we are working in a very large swamp. We pump a huge amount of water of 80,000 cubes of water a day, which makes us one of the top five wettest mines in the world. The drill we blast, we muck out, and it's a cycle. Deep cold can have a debilitating effect on a bulldozer. And here in northern Canada, the cold is intense and lasts a long time. I'd had some experience being in cold weather from all of our cold room testing, but being outside where you can't just duck back into the warm control room is uh, definitely a, a different experience. We measure the sort of degree of a winter by how many minus 60 days we have. The integrity of the steel at those temperatures, you have to be very careful with your equipment. You have to take different practices in warming up your equipment. Basically keeping the equipment running is our best remedy for that. They have a minus 20 rule, they call it. Basically if it's running, you keep it running. And if it breaks, you try and fix it as quick as possible in the field because if you wait too long, you're dragging it back to the shop. Combine the cold, the moisture, and the mine's remote location, and it's clear why De Beers needs equipment to be extremely reliable. Will the D6 measure up? Success for the D6 in this application requires constant operation, putting all its innovations to the test 24 hours a day. As long as the unit is not being serviced, it's out in the field doing its thing. It's being put to the test, not to mention doing all this while it's 40 below outside. Damages are sometimes incurred just in normal usage. So we've taken cab off, fixed hoses that have got damaged, try to keep on top of everything there. Caterpillar is working really hard. They are very conscientious about every step of what goes into it. Once established at Victor Mine, the D6 works on site for over a year. It's a really an awesome machine to run. The fact that it's nice and quiet, that it's got power, it's comfortable, just, just the seat itself, that, that'd probably be the number one thing I would say. It was all the adjustment that you have on the seat can make yourself really comfortable in that cab, so it just makes it really enjoyable. Michael returns to the mine site every three weeks to take readings and make adjustments if needed. I think this is my 12th trip. I like to come up every 500 hours or so just to see how the machine's doing. Talk with the uh, operators and the technicians uh, if there's been any issues since I last came. While shepherding this D6 has been physically demanding on Michael, tracking this D6's journey of progress has also offered personal rewards. 
I mean, it's pretty cool to go to a remote part of the world, right? And be able to, to test out a machine that no one's ever bought before and, and make it better for the customer and help out Caterpillar. I mean, how many people would say they've been to an active diamond mine in the middle of winter, in the middle of nowhere? It's definitely an experience. I think a lot of people, when they come up here, they, they don't soon forget. The conditions at Victor Mine would push any machine to its limits. Yet the D6 comes through with flying colors. The reviews from De Beers and Toramont leave little doubt that this D6 is ready for the spotlight. It's the next step. You know, it's uh, cost savings in fuel, additional production, longevity of the machines. It's giving us the ability to be more productive for less of a cost, which is what this industry needs. They don't leave it status quo, they're revolutionizing the market. It's always good to be at the forefront of where technology is going. One of the big takeaways we had was machine uptime with the cold weather. It really showed the customer and us that you know this new design was, was ready to go. This machine now returns to Peoria, where CAT engineers will take data gathered at Victor Mine and add it to their ever-growing collection of knowledge. Then the most satisfying step of the journey finally arrives when Caterpillar debuts the new D6 to the world. Anticipation for that day has been building inside the company for years. Well, based on feedback we've heard so far, we're going to blow them away. I just can't wait for our customers to get it. They're just going to be extremely delighted with the product that they get. When you get an operator that jumps out of the cab of that new dozer and, and he's just shaking his head saying, I don't know how you guys did this, but this thing's even better than the last one. When the operator came out of the machine with a big smile on their face, it was a big recognition for the work that we have been doing. Our competitors, like usual, they'll be trying to figure out what we've done and catch up because it's going to be a, it's going to be a game changer. Being able to see how the machine looks now and the excitement from the customers as we started to show them off is uh, super exciting. I can't wait till we unveil it and I'm able to tell my friends and family what I've been working on. Groundbreaking technologies, revolutionary design, proven reliability. These are what CAT customers expect and the D6 delivers on the road of innovation.